Hello, everybody, and welcome inside the 30-Minute Lunch Break Podcast, episode 83. It is lunchtime. We are on our lunch break. My name is Brandon Rosenthal, and I'm your host. Alongside me is our co-host, Eric Garcia. What's happening, dude? Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Yes, sir. Um, we are going to talk about some boxing. Uh-huh. So we're going to go over the Triple G fight that happened last weekend. We're going to go over the Chocolatito decision. We are going to talk some Floyd and Connor real quick. And then we're going to go into the NBA and talk resting players and what effect that has on the season, on the fans, and uh, that is a very hot topic right now, and we have some opinions. So without further ado, let's get started on 83. Let's go. Um, I did say Wednesday, but I didn't say what date it was. The day is March 22nd, 2017. So let's do this. Start with the Sweet Science segment. Let's talk some Floyd and Conor McGregor, shall we? Let's go. Two favorites of everyone right now. Yeah. At least at a bar. Uh, will this fight actually happen? I think, I think so. Just because the money's so big, it's hard for me to see Mayweather letting leaving money on the table. Yeah, and again, I've been money. saying this from the beginning. I know I'm biased. Money Mayweather. As, I, I know I'm biased as a boxing fan, but right. the reason why it's going to happen is not only because Mayweather is a big payday, but he has someone. Is going to keep pursuing it. This is way bigger for McGregor than it is fucking yeah. Floyd. So he's Clearly. going to try to keep mentioning this, talking about this over and over. Um, so that's why I think it will happen. Um, but I find this... Again, he's trying to disrespect uh, Mayweather and do this. He's trying to disrespect boxing. But I think what it comes out as is he's disrespecting all the MMA guys he's fighting with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you are actually yeah. in a sport. You know what I mean? Like Mayweather's retired. I get why his he still wants to be in the mix. I'm a fan, but I get why he wants to be in the storyline because he's he's retired. He wants to be in the news. McGregor is actually fighting. Like I don't get what the fuck he what is he doing? Like he, go, why don't you just go fight somebody else? Yeah, first exactly. Well, or at least while you're waiting for this, fight somebody else. Prove that you can even fight. Prove that you can even box. But this I think also proves like, being biased. Of course, I'm gonna keep yeah. being on the boxing side of this. But this shows me, dude, if your top athlete. Is willing to just put all that shit on pause for the chance of some fucking boxing money? It lets you know what time it is. Like, this fool's like, fuck MMA. I could take three years off. The one fight I land in boxing is going to pay me more than I'm ever going to make in MMA. In MMA. So he could take a three-year hiatus just waiting for... That, that's hopefully- why, like, anything... Uh, what's his name? Uh, why can't I think of the UFC commissioner's name? Dana White. Oh, yeah. Anything Dana White says right now, and Floyd and uh, Connor's just like, yeah, whatever, dude. You need me. I need... Mayweather, we both need Mayweather. Let's just kind of. That's why you seen um, uh, Dana kind of come around on it a little bit before. It was like absolutely never happening. No, nope, now it's like maybe never. it happens. I think because again, I'm with any, sure, remember a few months ago he said if it happens it has to go through me. Like yeah. I'm the guy. It's yeah, like, and no, Connor, you're not. and Connor, I'm pretty sure one in the room told him, "You need to understand, me and you have no fucking plan. In this we need to hope this guy says yes. So shut the fuck up. Yeah, do you want to get paid or you not? Because no, man, this is. This is definitely the ball is completely on Mayweather's court. Well, Connor said, "I well, he, look, Floyd came out of retirement, quote unquote, and said I'm going to fight, um, and for him to sign the paperwork." Good meme on the internet said, "Oh, I signed it. You just can't read it." <laughs> <laughs> um, but do you think Connor could write? I don't even think he could. No, sign I don't it. even know. I, I don't know. Uh, well, do you? I know he said, "I am boxing." Who's never, you know, he's never beat any professional boxer. Do you think he can actually beat Floyd? No, fuck no. I don't think anybody thinks. It. I think the best case, even him. I think all these people are thinking is he he wants to get in the ring, punch, give Mayweather some good punches, and last. And, and you know what I mean? Just like, hey, look, I was able to box with Mayweather. Yeah. There's no way I don't think anybody thinks Conor has a chance to beat him. Me neither. I don't I, think he so. has a chance like anybody has in a fight. Right. I mean, whenever you're hitting each other, you always have a chance to do something. Yep. Because it's not, I mean, he is a professional at a, another sport, but, you know, he's he can hit people. Um, but again, Mayweather, this was, he was, he's not going at some guy. Like we, people mentioned this with Chocolatito, we'll, we'll get into the fight earlier, but when fools go up levels, there's a lot of difference. You know, you got to do it the right way. You start with somebody that might not be the best one yet. Connor's thinking he's going to go in here and yeah. knock out the guy that never got knocked out his whole entire career. Um, yeah, I, I doubt it. So, um, yeah. And that's basically why I feel, I mean, I feel like it's going to happen cause it should happen. I mean, the money's there. Um, but I don't need to see this fight. I'm gonna, so I'll admit that. <laughs> if it happens, I'll see it. I'm not gonna. I mean, I wouldn't pay for it. So if, it'll be entertaining. Yeah. It's gonna be entertaining if it happens. So I we'll mean, see. you always watch fights of Stewart's because uh, he pays for them, and he he said he he'll wasn't. Pay. He'll pay. So for we're it. hoping he, we're you know, he'll that's how it. Watch it. Oh, Stu will pay for it. Uh, let's go into fights that actually happen, shall we? All right. Uh, 
Gennady Golovkin, or is it Gennady, right? Gennady? Gennady. Gennady Golovkin beats Daniel Jacobs by decision. He improves to 37-0, 33 knockouts. Daniel Jacobs, I wouldn't. it's a good record, but 32-2, and 29 knockouts. Total punches. Let's go over some quick stats, and then I'll let you go and do your thing. Yeah. Triple G, 231 punches landed. 126 power punches landed at a um, 48% clip of that. Daniel Jacobs, 32% of total punches landed, 175. So, significantly less punches landed total. Power punches, though, majority of Daniel Jacobs' punches were power punches. He landed 38 percent of the 100 of the 371 he threw. Landed 144. Nothing more power punches, but less, uh, but less of a percentage. Less of a percentage. Then threw more. Yes, right. absolutely. So, judges agreed. It was 115, 112. Two judges said that, and then it was 114, 113. So, close fight, and I agree with the decision. Do you? Yeah, I, okay. I agree with the decision. Especially, yeah, he, he knocked him out. So you got to give him even that much. Yeah, he knocked him down in the he doesn't. Round. I don't think he's the kind of fighter that needs any kind of extra advantage or point, but he's already starting with an extra point from the jump. You know what I mean? With that yeah. knockdown. So uh, I agree with it. I give fucking Jacobs all the props in the world in this fight. He, he fought, fought back. Good fight. He fought back. He looked really good in the later rounds. Mm. But one thing that I, I do always want to say, I mean, it's fair game. I understood why he did it because obviously he had a good fight. He still didn't get the dub, but... The one thing that, even though I have been giving uh, Jacobs props because I think he fought a good fight, the one thing why I'm gonna not give him that much of great props is he still showed up heavy as shit and didn't yeah. didn't didn't you know Golovkin was able to only gain the ten pounds like he agreed to based on his IBF belt. Jacobs was like, "Fuck that shit! If I'm gonna beat you, I hate to be bigger than you." And um, so still he, didn't work. It still didn't work, but it gave him a good shot at the fight. I mean, definitely let him. He showed he can take. I mean, even though he got knocked down um, early on, but he showed that he can, he can take, take. He can he take can some take. punches, yeah. Triple G, uh, and also, I mean, Triple G proved again that he can take a fucking punch in the chin. He could, yeah, fuck yeah. He I mean, definitely has probably the best. I mean, not just a it's a world class chin. Not just fact. like a punch in the chin. Like he can absorb it and move forward to continue. Like all right, well now I'm gonna yeah. counter, even though I just got socked. She's not deterred. I'm still doing what I'm doing. Yeah, like, it's like, pretty. It's pretty remarkable. Um, what's next for this guy? Because this was a pretty good fight, um, a championship fight, only for two. He has three belts, only for two of the three belts that he had. Yeah. And kept so he kept all three of his belts. He yeah, didn't he lose kept, anything. Kept them all. Even if he lost, he would have kept the IBF because Daniel yeah. Jacobs didn't, uh, didn't. want to weigh in the day of. So you know what's next for him? I mean, at one sixty, there's fights. Uh, you know, it's one thing that kind of since it was close, fighters are always going to have extra confidence. In. So some fighters now are going to see like this is the first time they've seen him, obviously since being a champ, not knock somebody out. Yeah. So you start thinking. Whatever little chance maybe, you have, maybe, this maybe I could it. outbox him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, they shows that if you can box with him, I don't think it's the case. But maybe he, this is like uh, playing possum. Because like, yeah. I think, you know what makes me laugh? Billy Joe Saunders fucking, fuck it, I'll call it, mm -hmm. pussy ass. He's been fucking keeping that belt hostage forever. Now he's all of a sudden saying, hey, I'll do this fight anywhere. I'll fight him in Kazakhstan if you have to. Like, dude, this has been calling you out for Good. that. Four he's the guy with the fourth belt. Yeah, yeah I know. I know so Golovkin needs to go get that damn belt quickly. You know what I mean? Like go, then have, and then what you can do is and just get him and then forfeit them all. I don't blame him for wanting the Canelo. Move up. Hey, I don't blame him for wanting the Canelo fight because obviously that's the bigger payday. But Canelo doesn't even have a belt that he wants. So go get that fourth belt. You're still the motherfucker there. Um, I want that fight to happen uh, like probably quickly, and then um, you can make an offer to Canelo like, look, my next fight is either gonna be you or Billy Joe Saunders. Okay. Which one do you want it to be? He can fight in May or June. Or both of them, yeah. You can fight Mano June against uh, Billy Joe Sanders and then Canelo for all, all four belts in exactly. September. Exactly. That would be the ideal fight, right? Yeah. Obviously, that's me I mean, not being the And then, and then you can to... also throw in the mayweather Connor fight in September, potentially, and you're looking at, like, a superstar, like, competing against each other. That would be really I good. don't know if these would want to share the, that, that no, 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 on no. another platform. No, I'm just saying the month. The yeah, month. The month. month. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. no. I mean, come on. There's no way they'll be like, fuck Floyd, you. You Floyd do that City. clown shit somewhere else. If you want to be doing that yeah. boxing MMA fight, you do Flo that shit on fucking... Floyd said he wants to fight in Russia. On Spike TV. Oh, I mean, because the money... Again, and I, probably because no one's going to say... And maybe that's his way of saying if someone... Putin, does, Putin would be like, yes, Or probably yes. his way of saying if if no one wants to sanction it, if you guys want to play that bullshit game, yeah. we'll go to another country and do this shit. No problem. You know, the money is... I have no problem. No, no problem whooping this was ass <laughs> go to the anywhere. moon. Um, all right, well, let's, the, the precursor to this fight was Mr. Number One Pound Profound, uh, Roman Gonzalez, yep. losing to Sore, or is it Ring Visai? And this was a good fight. Really good fight. Really Both good fight. Both good fights, but this fight was even This better. fight was better than the uh, Definitely a better fight. fight. Um, more blood. Uh, Gonzalez got clipped. 
And that also, but it wasn't a bad. It was just a bad location of the no. Cut. But after after the third, that that was the the judge treated that that shit wrong. I agree. He, there's no way the, the he could have warned him after the he had on like three times he headbutted him. You know what yeah, I mean? Oh, oh, the headbutting. Yeah, yeah that was head bad. Butting. That's why that cut was bad. Like that cut was a big fucking deal. Yep, a huge deal in the fight. You know what people were mentioning that is true that going back, obviously I was drinking a little bit, so it was in there. <laughs> but um, if you could see it, like, because I went back to see some of the clips, you see his trainer, you feel almost bad for because he's like he's gonna be a Hollywood trainer, but his hands are fucking trembling because he can't stop the bleeding, and he's like, holy shit, you know what I mean? He's getting older too, but you know, like he couldn't, like it was something that I don't think has happened with, in their career before. You know what I mean? Like, where what the fuck? I can't figure this out. You know what I mean? Well, it was just so much contact with that spot, and there's a lot of blood to that area. Yeah. A lot of uh, adrenaline, so blood's pumping. It's going to be coursing out of that wound. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I disagree with the decision. Um, yeah, I, I disagree with it, too. Uh, he lost this decision. I didn't have the numbers in front. I probably should have done that, but it was pretty shocking uh, to me, to, I don't know, to, I know she, you in the room, uh, to the Gonzalez camp. I think even the, the fighters, the sore. I think all of us, well, we all saw the fight. Everybody that we saw the fight with agreed with the decision, um, disagreed with the decision. Yeah. We all felt that he won the fight, especially since it was a point taken away. Like, I mean, to me. Oh, yeah, with the point taken away, especially. It's crazy that this score came out. Like, to me. That means he was three rounds up. Yeah, that's just, that's just, I can't believe, there's no way I could believe that shit. Even, was, even Letterman had the first two rounds going to sore, and then it was all Roman Gonzalez. Gonzalez, I mean, dude, this fool. He's awesome as fuck. Yeah, he was great. But the one difference is that power is getting more limited. You know, there's no way, you know, That's the true. way he was coming at you when he started at 108, those guys wouldn't be able to take this onslaught yeah. of fucking... But at 115, it's not that much strength anymore. No, no. Um, now he's number four on the ring pound profound. The The top five is Andre Ward, Kovalev, Triple G. Um, I don't... Yeah, I guess I, guess I can fuck with it. But I would... You know, for right now, I would put fucking, I would give tri- Triple G the love and put him at number one. R- Roman Gonzalez, and then number five is Terrence Crawford, who just signed a agree to a fight in uh and May tw- on May twenty. Yeah. Uh, see, I would definitely, but see, because I want to go by who I like. Because if I like, right, I'm right. gonna put like Vasil one, and I would put Crawford well, in Vasil, the top three. Vasil is six, exactly. But I would have put him number one overall, and I would put Crawford in my top three. I would probably put him at three. You know, where I'd do you put, put Terrence Crawford? I mean, that's what I mean. I'm not Terrence Crawford. Um, Ward, right there. Like, no, no, not Andre Ward. Uh, Thurman. He th- he's a he's a top ten guy for me, but he's not. No, no, I, I know that he, he's in your top ten though. He's my top ten. Right. Yeah, definitely. But he's not. He's definitely a top five guy. Um, let's go to one more topic, and then we'll head back to work. Now, the biggest topic right now, I think, in make probably the sports world because it's a kind of a lull right now, um, aside from boxing and some fights. Um, NBA playoffs are getting around the corner and teams are starting to rest players, which is yeah. normal, totally normal. However, they're doing it on nationally televised games and now people are starting to complain a lot. Yeah. And Adam Silver has came out and said, Adam Silver's the NBA commissioner, and he said a via statement that teams are pretty much watch your ass if you're resting players. Like the owner's got to be okay with it. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a weird, tricky touchy situation well for Adam Silver I think it's clear it's these advertisers are, are, are don't fuck this up ABC is not fuck Disney is not okay with you absolutely um, not and, and that's bullshit. where and this is where like and this is where I want to talk about it um I, I, the questions I have right do you think teams should be resting players and I think we both agree that it's yes yes we, we should not be like no you have to play no like I don't want to use the term but like we're not slave, slave see I'll say this they, they are employees but I will tell you this though I'll admit this part of it just to keep it real with myself is I am okay with it. I, I understand that it's, that's the that's part of the people we, need the rest. I we ha- or we have more information now that we're like this is very val- valuable. It we're is. putting more of a premium on that. But I will tell you this, um, I don't like it. Even though I understand that's what you got to do, I still I don't like it. I want my I want my guy to end this. Play eighty two games. I want selfishly. I want Kobe to have three out of four shitty years to end his career because he gave me amazingness all the time, full out fuck resting for the rest for the beginning part. Of his you career. hear what James Harden said, right? Yeah, th- that's the one. That's thing. what I want. That's you know, what I want. I don't like James Harden, but that's, now I like him a lot more. Or, or, no, but I like that, like that part of it. If you, especially if you're a Rockets fan, you could count on that shit all the time. But at the same time, he hasn't won a championship. No. So I, that's what I not mean. Yet, what, that's what they're, I mean. What I'm okay very with. Good right now. That's where I'm, I mean. I'm okay with the resting. If I was an owner or maybe a GM, I would. I could see that my coach could convince me and say, yeah. "Look, these are the numbers. Guys need to fucking rest." Yeah, yeah. You know. 
Um, my thing is that, especially if you do it on nationally televised games, the whole reason that these NBA players are able to sign these big fucking mega contracts is because the NBA signed the deal with these networks yep. to display these guys. And if these guys aren't on the games, then these networks don't want to show these games. Yep. So we get it. Like, for example, and I know this is a hot, I've heard, I heard this on the starters. So I, you know, if you heard it before me, you know, I had to stop before anybody, not before anybody, but this is, a, you know, natural thought. And a back to back, if you're in Los Angeles, you're playing the Clippers on Saturday night and a national televised game in the Lakers the next night, Sunday night. Which game are you going to take off? Like, why, why you play the fucking Clippers, rest against the Lakers? The Lakers suck. You don't, they don't need your help to beat them. Well, this is why I, again, this is where I feel a little bit crazy about this too, though. I don't, you, I, I don't like it, but I also don't like the idea of me telling, uh, if I was a player, like, I should give a fuck about it, especially if I'm LeBron of these guys, I'm going to make 30 no matter who the fuck falls apart. I'm the motherfucker here. So take it easy, first of all. I'll take the year off of the one, I'll show up in the playoffs. You know what I mean? Like, but, dude, like, you got to watch out. Like, are you really going to be listening to fucking ABC or ESPN? You know what I mean? How you're running your, your team? Maybe the, if, especially if you're pop, like an old school guy, he's like, pay these guys rest. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like he, but I'm going to rest motherfuckers who are on my team because he, there's no way you can change his mind that resting players has led to the success he's had in yep. recent time. Well, I know. And it's not about resting players. It's about resting players at the right times. Yeah. But I mean, for him, that's how he's looking at it. I'm going to rest them when it's the right time. Now I'm not going to go, Hey, I want to rest this guy. Wait a minute. Let me see. Are we on ABC tonight? Like, I fuck that. No, I think I you think... lose credibility with your co with your players when you're like, look, sometimes you could tell them you need to rest because you've played too many minutes. But when you tell them, well, no, may no, maybe I, next week, because today we're on channel I seven. I think that's what they tell them the first part. But I think the second part is also a part of it. I really do. I really think that they're sending a statement to the league about this. We're going to rest when the fuck we want to rest. Even on your televised games. Yeah. Sorry. And it's like, and it's like, it's really like a sorry, not sorry kind of a thing. You yeah. Know? And like, look, all those things. Like you said, you'll know what to correct this. Then obviously these channels won't pay more. They don't pay as much anymore. You're right. They will. They eventually, are losing. Eventually. But right now, players are thinking in the right now. Yeah. We, what were the numbers people were mentioning before? It was only Kobe and Jordan that ever made 30 million a year. Yeah. There's about to be like 10. 15, 20 cats that are going to be making 30 million. And Jordan made it in the 90s. Yeah. <sighs> so Man, that was nuts. This TV money is big. So I feel you. Yeah. I understand why. But that's why Adam Silver gives a fine fuck about it more. Yeah. The players are like, dude, again, who, who are the teams that are talked about? Golden State, San Antonio, Cleveland. The Lakers ain't resting anybody. You know what I mean? It, it almost seems like if you're trying yeah. to win a, a, a championship, you're resting guys. <laughs> If you're not trying to win one, you're not. Oh, the guys we're resting, we don't want in the team. Yeah. But, but exact, like you said, though, but there is the Rockets and there is James Harden, and he's going ham all the way through it. Uh, I definitely don't like resting. I like it when players play 82 games. Uh, I do. And I think that... I like those streaks when guys, like, he hasn't... He started every game, like, you know, for the whatever long. Now it's like, that I, shit is... I mean, for me, like, I don't know about them. Like, for me, I if I have a job that I love, I like going to it. You know, like, I like showing up. I like pe being reliable. Um, I like being available, and I think that's a, those are important things that important qualities that yes, it is a game, but it's also your job. And maybe, maybe you shouldn't be going so hard to practice if you're that tired. Yeah, but I'm gonna you tell know, you like, this, I don't though, know what the practice schedule is, and I you know who, who knows? I really don't. I don't know if they're going two days or zero. But if you're doing three practices a day and you can't play in games, then are you? Why yeah, do we sign you? But see, we sign you to play the games or practice. Though. We got to give them a little bit more credit. These guys. I do believe this, at least. They all want to win fucking games. Of course they do. So this is not something they're doing because they're saying, I just don't want to play today, and you're going to deal with it. They they have doctors that are telling them, these guys now have monitors that are like, you're at your li a minute limit. You're straight up like, you need to take three days off. That's the kind of science that's getting put into this. That's shit. true. So these guys are not just thinking, I want to rest, and I'm going to fucking rest. They got doctors telling them, you need to rest a certain amount of games yeah. in the season, or you're not going to be at your peak performance. So they're doing it because they think they're getting a crazy advantage. They're not doing it just to be like, fuck this. I want to spend some time at the house. You know? Play it, some 2K? Yeah, no. They're doing it because they're like, I want to win the championship. This is going to help me. Yeah, this is a game in May or, yeah. or April but uh, or even March. But it does suck for fans. I'll admit it that. It does hurt for fans. Um, And then I heard uh, somebody said, this is what you should do about the fans who played for the ticket. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do either. Well, look, I would I, love I for can't, the teams to reimburse, but that's the kind of I mean, that's a, a slippery slope. Yeah, I'm a fan. I, w I don't. I don't think I've ever showed up to a game, and I felt like they owed me a certain lineup. No, nope. if not, I, I bought tickets to Kobe's last season um, against the Hawks, 
uh, Lakers Hawks, and he, he didn't, didn't show up. Exactly. He didn't play. And, and you know, do you, uh, what am I going to do? I tweet the Lakers like, "Hey, bitch!" Like, I want my money back. I know, and, and he's, I know a, he's an old man. He, I, I knew, I knew the risk of him not playing. Because when you hear this shit, they're always like, "But you don't get it." There's guys that are working. We're working, dudes. It's not like we're rich ass guys. We don't have fucking money to be spending on games. <laughs> but you just look at it like, yeah, that sucks sometimes, right? So, you, you know, yes, I've gone to Dodger games where I'm like, "Oh shit, Kershaw!" All of a sudden, got scratched. I went to this game because Kershaw was going to start. Does Here I am. Well, it looks like I'm drinking a little I'm more a, beers. I'm a than Dodger I fan. I'm a Laker fan. I go to this game. I'm still gonna watch the Lakers. Exactly. Just remember that. Like, and and that, we're supposedly talking fans. You know what? They're, that's you're a, a good fan point. of the team, not of a exactly. specific guy. Exactly. And you know what? It's like, oh, well, you know what? That's the next man's gonna step up. And if they don't, like, well, that shows how valuable LeBron is. Yeah. Or whatever. But uh, let's head back. Yeah. Let's All get right. back to work. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Um, remember for the month of March, use the hashtag tripod t r y p o d. When you are searching or using podcasts, uh, we encourage people to go out there and listen to podcasts this month. It's a really awesome radio on demand and any topic you want, sports, uh, books, anything. I mean, I don't know why I said books. Yeah. I mean, like, I guess that's a hot topic. Yeah. Sports, politics, especially news, anything. There's a ton anything of you want to get into. And Absolutely. the good thing is when you find one that you really like, usually they have a... Like, let's say even us that we're just started, we have 80 episodes that you, if someone likes it, that they would be able to go back and listen yep, to Yep, we have 80 episodes. So there's some podcasts that have been around for years that you could have hundreds of episodes that you could find. Absolutely. And enjoy. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, that's going to do it for us for episode 83. Please find us on the web, 30minutelunchbreak.wordpress.com. All of our contents there. We have articles that we've written, NFL Power Rankings. You can look at last season and share a laugh of uh, the Niners, <laughs> really, their rankings throughout the season. Um, check us out on social. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and last but not least, find us on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Google Play, and YouTube. So, guys, thank you very much for listening. We'll be back next week. We're going to do one episode a week for a little bit, see how that goes, and go from there. Uh, check out, we're going to have a special, uh, coming out an hour and a half long special with a very special guest, an interview we had, which is a lot of fun, we recorded, so that's going to be released uh, in a couple of days. So, guys, take it easy. Later. Peace. Peace. Peace.